Namaskar and good evening. Today we will look at another successful company by name India Bulls Ventures Limited, which declared its results, I think, yesterday. <coughs> India Bulls Ventures Limited is a part of the India Bulls Group. And it is headed by Samir Gehlaut as chairman. Mr. Pinaksha is the CEO in charge of uh, uh, India Bulls Consumer Finance Remittance. And then Mr. Divya Shah is the CEO in charge of uh, uh, India Bulls Ventures Limited. <coughs> it's being uh, run reasonably well. It has been uh, scoring uh, uh, in respect of sales and also in respect of profits very well, quarter after quarter, year after year. So it's been performing well, it's been planning its uh, operations well. It is in consumer finance, uh, giving of loans to various types of uh, uh, people who want loans. So, uh, it's been quite successful in identifying good uh, uh, <coughs> loanies and giving them and recovering also. <coughs> Lots of strategies. Now, let us look at its latest results. Uh, <coughs> before going to that, I wish you all a wonderful uh, and happy and prosperous uh, Sankranti uh, and Pongal. Whatever you are celebrating, Sankranti or Pungal, both are our great national festivals. <coughs> and I do hope this year you will succeed far, far better than uh, 2018 as far as the stock market uh, is concerned. <coughs> now let us look at uh, the Q3 results. Net sales are 558 crores. 558 crores against the previous quarter sales of 476 crores and a year ago quarter of 238 crores. Now the year on year increase in sales is 134 percent, stupendous, quite uh, impressive, is it not? Now 238 crores to 558 crores, 134 percent growth year on year. And the growth uh, uh, quarter on quarter also is reasonably good at 17.11%. <coughs> the employees cost also has increased by 130% from 43 crores to 100 crores. <coughs> uh, there is nothing much in the other uh, items. Uh, profit before tax is was 93 uh, uh, crores in the year ago period, Q3 of uh, uh, year ago, it was 93 crores, now it is 174 crores, 86% growth in the year on year, 1974 to 1974, 1974, 1974, 1974, 1974, 1974, uh, but of course, there is a small degrowth compared to the previous uh, uh, quarter, that is Q2 quarter, um, uh, minus 5.31%. It doesn't matter actually. <coughs> Net profit is uh, uh, has grown from 70 crores to 120 crores. Net profit has grown from 70 crores to 120 crores, that is 71.46%. Sales have grown 134%, profit before tax has grown 86% and net profit has grown 71% year on year. <coughs> but compared to Q2, sales have grown by 17% but uh, profit before tax and uh, net profit, there is a small degrowth. It doesn't matter really. But year on year growth is uh, very, very impressive. <coughs> Now, equity is uh, 110 crores. It has grown from 88.48 crores. They have issued some rights, uh, convertible debentures, something like that. So, it has uh, it is growing from 88 crores to 111 crores. Now, the basic EPS has grown from 1.59 to 2.14. In spite of the growth in EPA, uh, equity, 
the growth in uh, basic EPS is 1.59 to 2.14. Uh, that is 35 percent growth in uh, EPS. <coughs> See, uh, equity dilution is happening and so, some more equity dil dilution also is uh, expected. <coughs> <coughs> so, that equity dil dilution will take place because it is a small uh, dilution, it will also add uh, to reserves. The current market price is uh, 405 around that today, today it has grown, otherwise it was around 400, 405, 406 like that has grown. Price earning is uh, 47, 47 looks very high, but considering uh, that it has been scoring very well every quarter uh, in sales and profits, uh, 47 may not be very high. Yeah, it will come down uh, uh, with every quarter. <clears throat> but of course, sales price also may, I mean, uh, market price also may be going up. Face value is 2 rupees and 52 weeks low is 209 and 52 weeks high is 820. Low is 209. Now, current price of 405 is some, somewhere around double the uh, 52 week low. In this market also, it is double the 52 week low, that is somewhat uh, good. And But uh, 52 week high was 820, will it touch that 800 uh, soon? We will have to wait and see. <coughs> Maybe in the course of one or two quarters, it may touch, uh, that is a possibility. <coughs> now, in the last one year, the growth was 48.41% uh, in market price. So, it is a good compound at least. <coughs> <coughs> now, let us like, uh, so in other words, price wise it has been growing in a healthy manner even in uh, market correction times. <coughs> now, business update, let us see. Year on year comparison, let us make, revenue has grown, uh, that is now we are going to compare 2017-18 with the 2000, uh, uh, it's uh, one year earlier. <coughs> Revenue has grown from 2.7 billions to 5.67 billions, 110 percent. Last year also, year on year growth was 110 percent. Profit before tax has grown from 0.71 billions to 1.74 billions, 0.71 billions to 1.74 billions, 145 percent. Profit after tax has grown from 0 0.54 billions to 1.2 billions, that is 122 percent. Revenue has grown, that is uh, for the whole of last year we are talking about that, uh, 110 percent it has grown over its previous year. Profit before tax has grown 145 percent, profit after tax it has grown 122 percent. say last year performance, और इस वर्ष का भी इस साल का भी परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा ही रहेगा। Already, if you compare the nine months growth of the current year with the nine months growth of uh, the last year, you will find revenue has grown 129 percent, profit before tax has grown 130 percent. And profit after tax has grown 125 <coughs> percent. Now, the assets under management of uh, India Bulls Consumer Finance uh, as of December 31st, 2018 is 104.31 billion up 283 percent from uh, Q3 of last year. <coughs> So, the loan giving and profit booking, it's a profit, not profit booking, but the uh, type of profits, it is keeping a good margin uh, for profits. <coughs> now, 15.39 billion equity money was raised in Q3 in uh, the structure of uh, cumulative convertible debentures, compulsory conversion into equity on or before June 2020. <coughs> So, when it will actually convert, we will have to wait and see, but uh, uh, equity dilution will take place. Now, the total equity of the IVL group as on December 31st of uh, 
2018 is 62.03 billion. Now, with the remainder of this right issue, equity level is expected, not at converted, it is expected to be 74 billion. That is from 62 billion to 74 billion, it will rise. <coughs> now, uh, the group is not predicting any additional equity capital requirement in the medium term for the next 2-3 years, something like that. It is not predicting any new requirement of, uh, that is, uh, there will be no further rise in uh, equity. <coughs> now, as regards loans, in Q3, loans worth 2.69 billion were sold down. <coughs> So, the selling down is one technique that uh, India Bulls Venture is adopting. Uh, of this 2.69 billion, 1.28 billion of pooled unsecured SME loans, which were rated AAA by Carousel, uh, were also sold down. <coughs> so, these were the first sell down transactions that, uh, by the company and include unsecured pools. So, they are recoverable, but uh, probably India Bulls Ventures wanted uh, quick money. Uh, so, it has given to uh, given for uh, selling down. <coughs> and with the money, it will generate further loans, further cash and so on. <coughs> now, 2.9 lakh loans disbursed in Q3. <coughs> 2.9 lakh loans were disbursed in Q3 of... Uh, uh, FI 19, <clears throat> which is almost as many loans from the inception of business to the end of Q2 FI 19. So, loan giving has become uh, um, very fast in respect of India Bulls Ventures. So, the total number of customers served has effectively doubled in this uh, one quarter Q3 FI 19. Going forward, the company will actively focus on sell downs on a regular basis and this will be a core strategy for growth. So, the sell down is happening at a reasonably good uh, uh, <clears throat> price. Whoever is buying, they will buy and they will pay the money immediately and uh, the, with that money, India Bull Switchers will be giving further loans. Uh, and maybe again say, say sell down. So, <coughs> some sort of uh, uh, business strategy it is adopting whereby uh, the, the there is a cumulative circular effect. <coughs> it looks like that to me. The model of sell downs allow the company to retain the spread on the loans door to door without any requirement of capital. <coughs> Because loan itself is coming back. <clears throat> the company expects to reach an ROE of 25 to 30 percent in the next two years within the first full three financial years of business. <clears throat> now, India Bulls Ventures feels that there is a huge market opportunity for uh, giving these loans <clears throat> according to Bank for uh, International Settlements, March 2018, latest only. India's household to debt to GDP stands at 11.4%. Our household debt, the type of loans which we are taking to the GDP that uh, the company is raising, uh, the ratio is 11.4%, which is um, uh, supposed to be the lowest among the G20, G20 nations and less than one-fourth of China. <coughs> so, Chinese people are taking more loans than Indians. <coughs> So, to catch up in taking loans, we have to take four times the current type of loans. <coughs> so, our Indian GDP is 2.64 trillion, China's GDP is 13.2 trillion, so five times. Now, but the personal loans taken, we are taking 42 billion, they are taking 2 trillion, that is 48 times more they are taking loans. SME loans, if you look at that, we are taking 29 billion loans and they are taking 4.6 billion <coughs> loans, that is 159 times loans. So, in respect of loan taking, if we have to catch up with the Chinese, uh, there is a huge gap. They are taking far bigger loans. Probably they are spending also very well, therefore they are getting that uh, 
loan amount uh, back as income. <coughs> So, there are so many estimations to show that Indians are also catching up in uh, uh, taking loans. And that is where the business opportunity comes for India Bulls Ventures. If you take more loans, if I take more loans, India Bulls Ventures and companies like that will benefit more. <coughs> we also benefit as investors. <coughs> the working population of India is... Uh, Expected to rise gradually to 700 million or 70 crores. Now, only 4.5% of uh, this working population have taken personal loans. Only 4.5% of the people are taking loans. So, therefore, there is a huge... In fact, in countries like US and China, more than 50% or 70% of people are taking loans, working population. Now, we are not taking like that. We are taking hardly 4.5%. So, there is a huge gap. Now, these people will be tempting. India Bulls Ventures will also be tempting. <coughs> now, whoever is giving personal loans and able to recover uh, efficiently, they are all doing well. Lots of different types of personal loans on AI, credit card, CV, gold, education, auto, television and so many others. <coughs> now, since launch, 10.6 million customers were validated for credit on Dhani Credit Engine. <coughs> this India Bulls Ventures has created a software called Dhani Credit Engine. Now, that credit engine has found 10.6 million customers uh, as credit worthy. But out of that, 10, out of 10.6 million, uh, they have disbursed loan of 2.9 lakhs only. <coughs> and that itself is a high amount for Q3. So, uh, they, are, they are validating people, they are locating people who are credit worthy and then they are trying them to, uh, to give loans. Now, so far they have given loans to a very uh, negligible percentage. Now, in Q3 they have given to a huge number of people, 2.9 lakhs, something like that. <coughs> so, so far out of the people validated for credit worthiness, only 5.8% have been given loans. <coughs> so, like that it goes on. So, basically, uh, so from my study, what I find is India Bulls Ventures uh, has got a long plan to disburse loans, get them back and again re-disburse loans to somebody else and then get them back. So, there is a cycle that they have established and the NPS are uh, quite small, it seems. <coughs> as long as the NPS are quite small, you know that selling down scheme also is there. Uh, it seems to be working wonderfully. So, India Bulls Venture seems, seems. I can't predict the future, but so far it has been like that. Uh, future also seems to be like that. So, seems to be a very successful venture. India Bulls Venture is, uh, looks like a su successful venture. So, I am also tempted to move the money, but uh, right now if you see that, the price earning ratio is very high. So, everywhere plus and minus are there, there is a de the deterrent factor is the price earning. <coughs> uh, but the price earning for companies which are so fast moving, 48 is nothing, you see, there are so, so many companies with uh, uh, 60, 70, 100 also, <coughs> depends. Now, as an investor, uh, you have to set your priorities. Will you go up to that 45, 48? Or will you limit yourself to 20? Uh, in most cases, I limit myself to 20. But in some cases, I also go up to, like, like in the case of India Bulls Ventures, uh, <coughs> we are tempted to <coughs> go further because the progress is faster. Thanks for listening. I will be back with you with uh, some, some more uh, good companies. Now, please remember, when I say good company, usually it is uh, uh, investment worthy only for long term investors. For short term investors, you know, the political conditions are not uh, uh, very definite <coughs> until the elections. 
So I can't say anything. Market may go up, may come down also. Hmm? But long term investors, there is no problem. <coughs> Thank you for listening. I will come back to you with another good company.